cancelled. Sweezy. Here's one I want to talk about. Uh, it's from CNN. A plumber found cash and checks stash in a wall at Joel Osteen's Houston megachurch. A plumber doing repair work at Pastor Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church found hundreds of envelopes of cash and checks hidden in a wall that police think is connected to a massive 2014 theft at the Houston megachurch. Officers were called to the church on November 10th to investigate the discovery, according to a statement from the Houston Police Department. Church members stated that during a renovation project, a large amount of money, including cash, checks, and money orders, was found inside a wall. The statement said police said that evidence from the recovered check suggests that the envelopes are connected to the March 9, 2014 theft of an undisclosed amount of money from the church. CNN reported uh, at the time that about 600000 to 200000 in cash and 400000 in checks was taken from a church safe. The money came from contributions given to on March. 8th and 9th of 2014. Burglary and theft officers inventoried the documented the recovered money and left it in the custody of the church because it was property found on its premises. The statement said, Burglary and theft officers inventoried and documented that recovered money and left in the custody of the church because it was properly found on its premises, the statement said. Uh, police said the investigation is ongoing. Lakewood Church confirmed the discovery in a statement provided to CNN, but it did not provide additional information because the investigation is still active. Recently, while repair work was being done at Lakewood Church, an undisclosed amount of cash and checks were found. The statement said Lakewood immediately notified the Houston Police Department and is assisting them with their investigation. News of the find came, became public on Thursday when a man who identified himself as the plumber called into Houston's radio station 100.3 The Bull and shared the story with the Morning Bullpen Show. There was a loose toilet in the wall and we removed the tile when to go remove the toilet and I moved insulation away and about 500 envelopes fell out of the wall and I was like oh wow the caller said the caller said he contacted the maintenance supervisor and turned the money in co-host George Lindsay told CNN and they talked to the man who said his name was Justin off the air to make sure it wasn't a prank I wish we had video of our faces because we were all just like holy cow Lindsay said he said he was impressed that Justin did the right thing in turned in the money. He could have stashed some of his money in his pocket and walked out and never said anything to anybody, but he was an honest stand-up kind of guy, Lindsay said. Crime Stoppers of Houston have had offered a 25000 reward in 2014 for information leading to an arrest in the case, but the organization says that money is no longer available because the statute of limitations has expired on the case. So, there's a lot of things we can say here. First of all, I want to talk about money laundering. So, um... Obviously, most people think it's wrong, but at the same time, I'm going to admit this. Most people would do it if they could get away with it. It's very hard to get away with it. Uh, if you watch Wolf of Wall Street uh, one time like I have, you can tell that it, it is a pretty difficult thing to do um, or any show that involves crime. You know, you have to have a front for it and everything like that. Um, with that being said, like we would all do it. Like if someone gave you... Um, Someone gave you $500,000 right now, but they said that you need to report it to your taxes, but they gave it to you in cash. And you're like, in my mind, I'd be like, no, I'm not going to do that. And I'd like hide it in my home. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I was like, but you need to report it. I'm like, I'm not going to report it to my taxes. I'm just keeping my home, uh, use the cash as needed. And then, uh, yeah. But I think it's weird when you like hoard money and like never spend it. That's a weird thing to me. I'm like, I mean, if I won five hundred thousand dollars, I'd just basically live my life like I regular regularly do, just make like never have like financial problems ever again. That'd be a perfect situation in regards to that. Um, what they did, they hid it in the church. Now, um, here's here's the weird thing, you know, like the checks in the money orders. So if you would deposit that into account, uh, that would be fishy. Someone would get on your tail. However, the cash though, why did you not? Why would you not do something with that cash? Um, I, I would do, I would take the cash. This is the type of guy you get. And it's weird that, um, the guy who found it didn't take some for himself. I would have just been like, I would have blackmailed Joe Lowstein. That's what I would have done. Like, he's already a shitty person to begin with. So, you know, if taking his money, I am not, I'm not gonna be worried about that. I'm not worried about Joe Lowstein. I'm not worried about his money. I'd be like, look, man, found all this money in there. I could report it. Or 
I have the money. I have pictures. Yeah, you, know, you gotta you gotta blackmail them, or give me some money, and uh, I won't tell anyone. So this guy being a stand-up guy, um, he either really hates Joel Osteen or uh, maybe he is a good person. Uh, when money, I don't know, something like that. It's like I wouldn't rob. This is what I don't get. Like cops are made to just basically take money from poor people to keep them poor, but they won't do it to like a rich person who can afford to be like get a speeding ticket and shit like that. I always thought that was weird. I always think that's weird. I'm like, why are you trying to get money from people who barely have money when you could get money from people who already have money? I don't know. I don't get to, maybe because they're paying you to attack poor people and not them. I don't know. Um, it's a, it's a weird situation. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I would, I would just take either take the money and, uh, walk away or I would blackmail Joe Osteen. Mainly, I'd probably blackmail and take some for myself as well. That's probably, I'm probably going to do both. Um, because, like, stealing from a poor person is shitty. Don't do that. But stealing from a rich person uh, is okay, because they probably won't notice, to be honest. And uh, uh, they're, they're probably terrible people to begin with anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, and then also, you know, what the, what the you know... So, you know, I don't know, like, you know, with checks and stuff like that, I don't know why you're keeping that hidden. Um, I guess you're wanting insurance money or whatever, but, I mean, the cash. Take the cash. Why are you hiding it in the church? Take the cash for yourself, Joel. Hide it in your mansion and put it in your little... I know he has, like, a Scrooge McDuck uh, type of swimming pool uh, of just gold coins and cash that he swims in. We know he has that. That That's a room in his home. He he has that. Um, I think if enough cash is there, it won't hurt when he jumps off the diving board. That's being clear. If it's all like gold coins, uh, you will hurt yourself doing that. That's it. And I'm sorry my nose is itching for the watchers out there. Um, so, you know, and I don't know, Joel, this is this is stupid, Joel. Why would you hide it in the church? Like, and if you know someone's going to do maintenance in the bathroom, why are you not moving the supply? Come on, buddy. You're smarter than that. You've been getting money out of people for years now. You're fake at with your weird smile and your weird hair and kind of has a mullet as much. I mean... Yeah, and my mom likes him. Uh, don't swallow anything. He once said, don't swallow anything. Satan is trying to ram down your throat. Jesus comes first. That's a Joel Osteen quote that I will uh, forever do it. So, uh, in, in other news, Joel Osteen is still a piece of shit, and uh, this guy is a fucking idiot for not taking some money and or blackmailing Joel Osteen. Well, look at you. You just finished one of the many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. Glad you watched, and I hope you learned something important in your life today. Uh, we have more highlights available for you to watch out now, available now for you to watch. And uh, we got full episodes as well, so uh, don't be stingy and go watch another highlight. And uh, like I said, stay awesome.